Welcome to this webinar on making 3D games in Purple Mash. First of all, we need to find the app. So if you click on the tools area, scroll down on the right hand side, you'll find this button, 2DIY 3D. If you click on that button there, uh, we go straight through to the tools. Now, before you start with the children, it might be a great idea to have a look at some 3D games that have already been created so that they can get an idea of how they're actually made and also what features do they like so you could just click on one of these uh, with the class or you could set it as a to-do for them to have a look at so I'm going to click on it I'm just going to launch it this time you can see there's um, an introduction some instructions and they can click the play button and off they go and they can navigate through the maze so this one has already been built but they might like to play it and talk about uh, what they liked about it uh, what features would they add in future and it gives them an appreciation of what they've already got they could then go on to planning if they've been looking at some of these games they might want to review them so uh, there is also a reviewing template in here that they could use to review the game uh, so you might want to do that at the start but they might also uh, want to um, collaborate and generate ideas for a new game if you're wanting to do that there's a great tool uh, called to connect here which is a collaborative mind map so children are able to contribute their ideas to the same place at the same time here's one i made earlier so you can see that they can talk about uh, the different settings they might want, the different baddies that might be in the um, in the game, how you might score points, what type of walls they might need. So really good way of collaborating and working together on thinking about their game in advance. They may also want to uh, plan the game a little bit more fully in terms of how it is actually going to be uh, structured going forwards. So. Um, you could use uh, the portal, uh, the planner uh, document here. Here's one I made earlier. So you can see there's boxes for setting the scene and you can open up your leaflet like this. And you've got the facts, the screenshots, some instructions, how they might advertise it, baddies, etc. So again, a nice planning sheet here with some extra support over here to give them ideas of what might want what might need to go into a planning sheet once they've planned it out they might want to plan the sequences and what goes into each area so again they could use another tool which again if we go into tools called to chart and i'll just show you one i made earlier here's a to chart where i've planned uh, the different levels and what might happen at the different different levels of my game so even before we get started with the game, there's actually quite a lot of uh, tools that we can start to use and make this quite a project. If we want to get um, straight into the game, let's have a look at that. So again, I'll click on the button and then straight into the game. Um, you could set it as a to do, but in this case, I actually want to uh, look at the different levels. So click launch app. You can see there's two levels here. There's a, a simple level and a more sophisticated level. If I go for the simple level, I've got less instructions in here, uh, tools rather. I've got uh, just basic wall that I can put in here. Um, I, can put, uh, I can put some trees as well if I wanted to. I can change the ground. So if I want grass on there, I can change it like that. If I want to pop objects in to collect, I can pop them in like this. But any of these objects can be changed by clicking on them and changing them. Or you can bring your own file in as well if you like. So if I wanted a treasure chest and I wanted to increase the number of points for it uh, and click OK, then you can see I've changed that to a treasure chest. I can add baddies in here and I can decide what will happen to the baddies as well but i can choose all sorts of different varieties of them i want a wolf in this one uh, and i can decide what 
happens. I can have him hunting the player if I want to around the screen. OK, so there's, there's a, a limited number of options here. If I needed to uh, change the walls, I can click on the wall button here and the clip art and I can change it to a different type of wall. If I wanted sort of stone walls like that, I can change it or I can bring in my own file as well if I wished. You can see there's a little instruction button up here. So if you wanted to do some instructional writing with them, they can uh, they can put the game in here. A title and in here they can write their instructions about how the player might play it they can even record their instructions here they can choose how many lives or if there's a time limit uh, what happens um, in terms of the sound for the sort of game over or level completed so, so there's a whole load of different things that you can change on here but if you move to the my game then you've got even more options over here on what you might want to put in the game so again as we did before you can you can you can put your walls in like this okay uh, now if i'm making for instance a, a a greek game maybe i i'm uh, i've been looking at the minotaur maze um then i can put um objects to collect maybe in the maze and i can change those uh, if I if I wanted to so it could be a Greek vase this time okay uh, I can put um, a baddie in there and again I can change the baddie uh, to the minotaur if I want to and I can have him hunt the player down and I can decide what happens if he catches me we'll have lose a life uh, you could also put uh, the floor in in here I might also want to put a ceiling in. So um, I can have a ceiling. I can uh, change the um, lighting as well in the other section. So if I wanted it a bit uh, a bit dim and gloomy, then I can switch that on like that. And what I could do is I could compose music, um, background music for this game in the um, music software in Purple Mash and actually import it into this game if I wanted to and loop it while the game's on. Again, there's my instruction button, but notice on this one, we've got different levels. So once one level is completed, you can then create the next by just clicking on this button to move to the next level. And you can see with this game here, if I click on the preview button, I've got a very gloomy bird here taken by the Minotaur straight away. But you can see I can go through my maze. Again, I can go back to it. I can change it. I can add extra features. And when I've finished, I can just save the game. And save it. Now there's a few things that you could do um, once you've saved a game. You might want to um, have a display of your games that the other children can play. In that case, now you've saved it, click on the share button up here and click the share button there. And I can pop it on a display board. So I've made a display board called Our Games. So I'm going to click on that and click OK. And I've sent it over to our display board. I can also have a QR code. So if I was making a poster about the game, um, I could uh, copy and paste the QR code from here. They could watch, watch, read, look at the poster, click on the Q, uh, use the QR code with an iPad and uh, go straight into the game or I can embed it in a web page as well so there's lots of different options on on sharing and uh, the games but then you might also want the children to do a, um, a review of the game a uh, peer assessment if you wanted to do this again you can go back to the share button but this time you could blog about it so you can just click blog about the work and I set up a game blog here so I can just click on the game game blog 
um, I can call it I'm at all game what do you think and save that and that's gone onto my blog that means that other children will be able to view the game play the game and comment on the game but do remember with blogging in purple mash no um content or comments go on the blog unless you've approved it if you're wanting to set up blogs or display boards just go to the admin area and you can see there's manage display boards and manage blogs and it's very straightforward uh, if you want to build uh, your own there so we've looked at um different ways of of creating the game getting into the game and other ways uh, and activities that you might want to use in conjunction with it and as I said before if you wanted to do game reviews we've got a template here for the game review if you wanted to market your app we've got a template there for uh, marketing activity so basically what I'm saying is there's lots of different things that you could bring into here you could bring into this uh, instructional writing uh, you could bring in uh, persuasive writing you could bring in instructional texts if you needed to you can bring in planning and collaboration you can share uh, with blogs uh, and with display boards uh, you can evaluate and look at other games if you wanted to and i did mention that you could add your own sound so if you go back to the tools and scroll down to the bottom explore beat and sequence will allow you to make your own compositions you can also save those and then you can import those into your game uh, when you've finished as well. So I hope that's giving you uh, a bit of an introduction into how you might use uh, 2DIY 3D. Um, it's a very popular game and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with that. If you need more help and support in future, just click on the teachers area here and you can see in the professional development area you could book a mass chat, which is a one-to-one -one with one of us. Uh, you can look at uh, further webinars, which might include making to-dos, making display boards, um, making blogs. And there's also the opportunity to pop along to a mash meet. So if you click on there, that's where we organize meetings with schools uh, after the school day, usually four till about five, and that's open to as many schools as you like. None of these features uh, cost anything uh, you can also book a course on site CPD if you feel uh, you might need that going forwards so I hope you um, enjoyed that uh, webinar and it's given you a few ideas thanks very much